Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Is It Worth Buying? Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Glowfish. I just recently acquired this game, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, I hope you enjoy watching me play a little bit of it, and I'll let you know if it's worth buying. So, here we go. Let's uh, go through, actually, the first, first level here. So you can get a general idea of what it's like to play the game. Here we go. So basically, you're this little character. And your little character can either be controlled by the mouse, or I can control him by the keyboard. Which is kind of nice. Alright. Uh, so basically there's a story behind this game, but you know, it's a casual game. So I don't really follow the story so much, I just enjoy the game because it's relaxing for me, honestly. And every once in a while I like a game that I don't really have to think about a whole lot. So basically just go around and collect these koans, at least at the beginning. And the other thing you're looking for is these little guys here. And each one that you go by, you essentially are collecting for the moment. So we're just going to grab all of them. And you'll notice this little seashell over here just went down to the number one. If I click the last guy, then it unlocks. And see these bubbles up here over on the left? I can't go through them. But as soon as I go over this shell, it'll unlock them and let me go to the next stage. We'll just go ahead and collect some more Koans. And keep going. And let's see. I think I collected everything over here. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Oh, there's another guy. Alright. So defensive circle. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, so if we bump into these guys. Very nice. So basically by left clicking it made that defensive circle. And especially if you left click again they'll just go behind me. The other defensive move, and I'm not sure if I can do it without it having showed me, but let's see if it, or if it will work. Okay, now I'll have to show you in just a minute here. So let's unlock the next area. And here we go, let's see. Okay, so it's telling me basically that sometimes that the enemies are too big to smash. So let's go ahead and collect the coins here first. And what we're going to do is a defensive move. We're going to go around. And my, the little guys that are going behind me are basically shooting the enemy. There we go. That unlocked one of them. And let's make sure I'm not missing any coins here. Doesn't look like I am. And we'll go ahead and unlock the next area. Excellent. Yay. Looks like I got to the end of the level. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Hmm. Aha! I always love secret areas in games. They are so much fun. For a casual game, I really like the choice of music on this one. Hmm. I think this is... Yeah, I can't really bounce off the sides. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next level. And continue. All right. Let's grab the nearest Cohen, and we'll continue from there. Ooh, I did not realize there was a map. Oh, very nice. Wow. I wasn't paying attention the first time I played through this. All right, ooh. Let's see if we can take you guys out. I only have one guy, but... I... Oh! And I died. That was not good. All right, and let's see. Hmm. I seem to remember having more guys before. That's weird. Let's see if I can get past th these guys without... Dying here. And I'll come back and fight them in a minute here as soon as I can find the rest of my my people. Uh oh. I'm having difficulty finding them. Oh. That was not good. <laughs> Alright. 
I seem to be missing something. Whatever it is. Let's see, let's try taking on one of these at a time. Probably won't work, but it's worth a try. Ooh, nice. So I can actually take them all on at the same time. Yay. <laughs> you know, this game reminds me of... Let me see, what is that other game? Um... Uh, the name slips my mind for the moment. Um, it's the same company that makes the uh, f little fireplace game. Um, oh well. I forget. But I really like the music and the effects that they use for this one. Especially for a casual game. I find it really enjoyable. Alrighty. Let's see here. Where are all my... Ooh. Aha. Oh, I remember this one. Heh. <laughs> this is not so easy. Yay. Get my next guy here. And we'll try to unlock some more of my little companions here. Really like the uh, art style they chose for this game. It's uh, definitely a very colorful mix. Ooh. Just have one more to unlock here, I think. Ouch. Excellent. Hmm, I must have missed something up here. Let's go see. Not all. Hmm, I can't get, seem to get them to attack him. He must not be attackable, I'm guessing. Strangely enough. Let's see, there doesn't appear to be anything up over here, either. Okay. Interesting. We'll just uh, skip past him, then. And collect the remaining ones there, and then go down further. Hmm, this must be my... the final enemy of this particular map, I'm guessing. Let's see if... Yep, that was. Alright. Huh. It's interesting. When I get close to that, I changed its color to pink. Interesting. Ooh, no, I guess that wasn't the last enemy. Hmm. Maybe I get a bonus if I get this one. Let's find out. Well, hey, I got a big Cohen. It's definitely worth it, I think. <laughs> All right. Portal should be down here somewhere. Excellent. Hey, I even had one left. Yep, and there's the portal. Hmm. Didn't do so well on that level. Alrighty. Let's go into options. I want to see what type of options this has. Besides the ones I looked at. Eh, not too many. Not that it really needs any. I mean, it's a 2D game. And it could run on almost anything. I bet you that this was probably originally designed for a tablet. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, I really like it. Eh, yeah, no. That appears to be about it, in terms of the menu. Let's actually go... Let's see... To the main menu, Let's see if there's any other options. Oh, achievements. 
Let's check that out. Wow. Decent amount of achievements. Alright, well, that's been a look at Glowfish. Um, overall, I really like the game. I mean, you definitely have to be into a casual game if if that's your style of game, which I really like them at times. Just depends on what mood I'm in when I'm playing. Um, there's, from what I've seen, at looking at uh, some Let's Plays of it and that kind of stuff, there's quite a few levels to it. Um, and there's a few more mechanics that you didn't see in this particular video. But overall, I do really like the game, honestly. And, uh, you know, it's $9.99 on Steam right now. Um, and that's like as, as of uh, the ninth month of 2013. Um, so not a bad price. So basically 10 bucks for a very fun, casual game. Um, again, you do have to be quite into the casual genre. But um, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I would say I'd definitely have to recommend it. It is worth buying. Um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Uh, have a wonderful day, everybody, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to help me improve or have ideas for future videos, leave it in the comments below or send it to techandtuxproductions at gmail.com.